Christos was crass. Christ, du was crass. Christ is risen. Indeed, he is risen. And good evening to one and all on this glorious feast of the resurrection of our Lord. Welcome to those in our Church of St. Joseph's. Welcome to our Metropolitan, Metropolitan Lawrence, who will be leading us in prayer this evening. And welcome to all those online joining us on this great feast day. This evening, uh, we will be celebrating Resurrection Matins to be followed by our Easter uh, liturgy. And towards the end of, of the Easter liturgy, we will have the blessing of Easter food, those who brought food here in church in their baskets, and those who are setting up their baskets at home. You know, all the food will be blessed virtually through the internet and in person for those who are here. In a few moments, we will begin. We will turn down the lights, and then we will start our service. Christos was kres. Christos was kres. Your resurrection, Christ our Savior, the angels of heaven above, enable us also. to the holy, consubstantial, life-giving, and undivided Trinity, now and always and forever. Amen. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling death by death, and to those in the tomb giving life. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling death by death, and to those in the tomb giving life. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling death by death, and to those in the tombs giving life. Let God arise and let his enemies be scattered, and let those who hate him flee from his presence. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling death by death, and to those in the tomb, giving life. 
as smoke vanishes, let them vanish as wax melt from the presence of fire. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling death by death, and to those in the tomb, hearing mine. So let sinners perish from the presence of God, but let the righteous rejoice. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling death by death, and to those in the tomb giving life. This is the day which the Lord has made, let us rejoice and be glad in it. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling death by death, and to those in the tomb giving life. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling death by death, and to those in the tomb, giving life. Christ is risen, from the dead, trampling death by death. And to those in the tomb, giving life. And to those in the tomb, giving life. And to In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For peace from on high and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For peace throughout the world, for the well-being of God's holy churches, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have for this holy church and for all who enter it with faith, reverence, and fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our most holy pontiff, Francis Pope of Rome, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For his beatitude, Patriarch Sviatoslav, the reverend priesthood of the diaconate in Christ, all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our nation under God, for our government and for all the military, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this city, for every city and country, and for the faithful who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For favorable weather, for an abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have for the seafarers and travelers, for the sick and the suffering, for those held captive in their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That we may be delivered from all tribulation, wrath, and misfortune, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help and save, have mercy, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Remembering our most holy and immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Mother of God and ever Virgin Mary, together with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, o Lord. 
For all glory, honor, and worship befit you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. O day of resurrection, let us beam with festive joy. O Pasch, O Pasch of the Lord, for from death to life, from earth to heaven, Christ our God has led us who sing the song hymn of victory. Christ is risen from the dead. Let us purify our senses, and we shall behold Christ, radiating the inaccessible light of his resurrection. Rejoice, we shall hear him say to us who sing the hymn of victory. Christ is risen from the dead. Let the heavens duly rejoice. Let the earth be glad. Let all visible and invisible creation have its own celebration. For Christ is risen, our everlasting joy. O day of resurrection, let us be with festive joy. O Pasch, O Pasch of the Lord, from, from death to life, from earth to heaven, Christ our God has led us who sing the hymn of victory. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling death by death and to those in the tomb, giving life. Come, let us take a new drink, not one miraculously drawn, from barren rock, but from the fountain of incorruption, from the grave of Christ. For in him is our strength. Christ is risen from the dead. All things are now filled with light. Heaven and earth and the world beneath. So let all creation celebrate Christ the resurrection. For in him is its strength. Christ is risen from the dead. Yesterday I was buried with you, O Christ. Today I rise with you arising. Yesterday I was crucified with you. Let me share the glory, O Savior, with you in your kingdom. Come, let us take a new drink. Not one miraculously drawn from barren rock, but from the fountain of incorruption, from the grave of Christ. For in him is our strength. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling death by death, and to those in the tomb, giving life. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help and save, have mercy and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. In memory, our most holy and immaculate, most blessed and glorious lady, the mother of God and ever Virgin Mary, together with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God, to you, o Lord. for you are our 
God, and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Before dawn the woman came with Mary and found the stone rolled away from the grave and heard from the angel why seek on the dead as if he was a man him who lives in everlasting light behold the cloth which which they wrapped him go that the Lord is risen and has slain death, for he is the Son of God who saves us all. May God, inspired prophet Habakkuk, now stand with us in divine vigil and show the angel radiant with light who announced with joy salvation has come to the world today for christ is risen as the almighty one christ is risen from the dead christ appeared as the firstborn male, opening the virgin's womb, and as man was called the lamb, undefiled, having no stain, he is our Passover, and as true God, he is called the perfect one. Christ is risen from the dead. David, the forebearer of the Lord, dance and leap before the symbolic ark. But we, God's holy people, beholding the fulfillment of the symbols, let us piously rejoice for Christ is risen as the Almighty One. May God's inspired prophet Habakkuk now stand with us in divine vigil and show the angel radiant with light who announced with joy Salvation has come to the Lord today, for Christ is risen as the Almighty One. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling death by death, and to those in the tomb, giving life. Let us arise at early dawn, instead of murder, let us offer a song to the Lord, and we shall behold Christ, the Son of Righteousness, who radiates life on all. Christ is risen from the dead, when they who were held by the chain of hell, beheld your endless loving kindness, with joyful feet they fled to Christ, their light, exalting eternal past. Christ is risen from the dead. Come with lighted candles to meet Christ who comes out of the grave like a bridegroom and join with the exalting angelic choirs to celebrate
celebrate the life-giving Apostle God. Let us arise at early dawn instead of prayer. Let us offer a song to the Lord, and we shall behold Christ, the Son of Righteousness. Descended into the world beneath and shattered the everlasting chains which held the prisoners captive, O oh Christ. But on the third day, like Jonah from the whale, you came forth from the grave. Christ is risen from the dead. In rising from the grave, O oh Christ, you left the seals of burial intact, preserving in birth the keys of virginity unharmed. But you open the gates of paradise to us. Christ is risen from the dead. Oh, my Savior, as God, you are a living and indestructible sacrifice. Yet you willingly offered yourself to the Father. And when you rose from the grave, you also raised up Adam, the father of our race. You have descended into the world beneath and shattered the everlasting chains which held the prisoners captive, O oh Christ. But on the third day, like Jonah from the well, you came forth from the grave. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling death by death, and to those in the tomb, giving life. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help and save, have mercy and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Remember our most holy and immaculate, most blessed and glorious lady, the mother of God and ever Virgin Mary, together with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, you, Lord. you are the King of peace and the Savior of our souls. We give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Though you went down to the grave, immortal destroy the power of Hades and rose victorious Christ our God you who said rejoice to the murmuring women give peace to your apostles and offer Resurrection to the fallen. Having seen the resurrection of Christ, let us adore the Holy Lord Jesus, the only sinless one. We bow to your 
and your holy resurrection we praise and glorify. For you are our Lord. We know no other besides you. We call on your name. Oh, come all you Christ's holy resurrection. For by the cross joy has come to all the world, ever blessing the Lord. Let us praise his resurrection, having endured the young men from the furnace became a man and suffered as a mortal through passion he vests mortality with the beauty of incorruption he alone is blessed and most glorious the only God of our fall Christ is risen from the dead. Devoted women with myrrh followed after you. And though they sought you as dead with tears, they adored you joyfully as the living God. And announced to the disciples, O oh Christ, the glad news of the mystical Pasch. Christ is risen from the dead. How truly holy, how worthy of celebration is this splendid night of salvation. The herald of the glorious day of resurrection. The night when ageless light shines bodily from the grave for all. He who rescued the young men from the furnace became a man and suffered as a mortal. Through passion he vests mortality with the beauty of incorruption. He alone is blessed and most glorious, the only God of our fathers. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling death by death and to the old giving life. This is the chosen 
and holy day, the foremost of Sabbaths, the King and Lord, the Feast of Feast, and festival of festivals, when all of us bless Christ forever. Christ is risen from the dead. Come on this hallowed day of resurrection to partake of the fruit of the new wine of the joy divine of the kingdom of Christ. Praising him as God forever. Christ is risen from the dead. Lift up your eyes and look round, O Zion. For your children come to you radiant with divine light. From the west and the north, from the sea and the east, blessing Christ in you forever. Let us bless the Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and always and forever. Amen. Almighty Father, Word and Spirit, in the trinity of persons, united, one supernatural and most divine essence, in you we have been baptized, and you we shall bless forever. This is the chosen and holy day, the foremost of seven. Festival of festivals, when all of us bless Christ forever. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling death by death, and to those in the tomb, giving life. Let us greatly extol the Mother of God and the Mother of Light in Him. The angel cried out to the word full of grace. O chaste virgin rejoice, and again I say, Christ, 
Oh, wisdom, word, and power of God, enable us more perfectly to partake of you in the endless day of your kingdom. Shine, shine on you, Jerusalem, for the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. Exalt now and be glad, O Son And you, O chaste Father of God, take delight in the resurrection of your Son. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling death by death to the Lord. Oh. 
light and let his enemy be scattered. The holy past has today appeared to us the new and sacred past, the mystic past, and all venerable past, the past which is Christ, Redeemer, the that opens the gates of paradise to us, the past that sacrifices all the faithful. A smoke vanishes, let them vanish. From that scene, O oh, heralding women, and say to Zion, receive from us the glad tidings of joy of the resurrection of Christ. Exalt, rejoice. And be glad, O Jerusalem, seeing Christ the King as a bridegroom come forth from the grave. So let sinners perish from the presence of God, but let the righteous rejoice. The myrrh hearing women at early dawn came to the grave of oh, the life giver. They found an angel sitting on a stone, and he spoke to them. among the dead. Why weep for the incorruptible amid corruption? Go proclaim the news to his disciples. This is the day which the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. The Pasch of delight, the Pasch of the Lord, the all-venerable Pasch has dawned upon us. The Pasch when with joy we embrace one another. O Pasch, our deliverance from sorrow. For today, Christ shone forth from the grave as from a palace and filled the women with joy, saying, proclaim the news to the apostles. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. O day of resurrection, let us be with celebration and embracing one another. Let us 
us say, brothers and sisters, and to those who hate us, let us forgive everything because of the resurrection, and then let us sing the cross. To us he grants life eternal. Let us bow down to his Christ is risen from the dead, trampling death by death unto those in tombs giving life. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling death by death unto those in tombs giving life. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling death by death to those in the tombs giving life. Blessed be the kingdom of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling death by death, and to those in the tomb giving life. Christ is risen from the Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace for on high and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For peace throughout the world, for the well-being of God's holy churches, for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy church and for all who enter with faith, reverence, and fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our most holy universal pontiff, Francis, Pope of Rome, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our most blessed patriarch, Sviatoslav, our most reverend metropolitan Lawrence, the reverend priest of the diaconate in Christ and all clergy and people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our nation under God, our government, and all the military, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this city and every city and country, and for the faithful who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For 
favorable weather, for the abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the seafarers and travelers, for the sick and the suffering, for those held captive and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That we may be delivered from all tribulation, wrath, and misfortune. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help and save, have mercy and protect us, O God by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Remember our most holy and immaculate, the most blessed and glorious lady, the mother of God and ever Virgin Mary, together with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. For all glory, honor, and worship befit you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Shout to the Lord all the earth. Sing now to his name. Give glory to his praise. Through the prayers of the Mother of God, O Savior, save us. Say unto God how awesome are your words. Because of the greatness of your strength, your enemies will flatter you. Through the prayers of the Mother of God, O Savior, save us. Let all the earth worship you and sing to you. Let us sing to your name, O Most High. Through the prayers of the Mother of God, O Savior, save us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Only begotten Son and Word of God, you are immortal, and you willed for our salvation to be made flesh of the Holy Mother of God and ever Virgin Mary. And without change you became man. You were crucified, O Christ our God, and trampled death by death. You are one of the Holy Trinity, glorified with the Father and the Holy Spirit. Save us. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help and save, have mercy. Protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. And bring our most holy and immaculate, most blessed and glorious lady, the mother of God and ever virgin Mary, together with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our goal. To you, O Lord. For you are a good and loving God, and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Let God arise and his enemies be scattered. Let those who hate him flee from his presence. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling death by death. And to those in the tomb, giving life. As smoke vanishes, let them vanish as wax melts from the presence of fire. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling death by death, and to those in the tomb, giving love. Wisdom, stand aright. In assemblies, bless God the Lord, you who spring from Israel. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling death by death, and to those in the 
Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Have put on Christ. Alleluia. All you who have been baptized into Christ have put on. Let us be attentive. Peace be with all. Let us be attentive. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love is everlasting. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Wisdom. A reading from the Acts of the Holy Apostles. Let us be attentive. In my first account, Theophilus, I dealt with all that Jesus did and taught until the day he was taken up to heaven having first instructed the apostles he had chosen through the Holy Spirit. In the time after his suffering, he showed them in many convincing ways that he was alive, appearing to them over the course of 40 days and speaking to them about the reign of God. On one occasion, when he met with them, he told them not to leave Jerusalem. Wait! rather for the fulfillment of my father's promise of which you have heard me speak john baptized with water but within a few days you will be baptized with the holy spirit while they were with him they asked lord are you going to restore the rule to israel now his answer was the exact time it is not yours to know the father has reserved that to himself you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes down on you. Then you are to be my witnesses in Jerusalem, throughout Judea and Samaria, yes, even to the ends of the earth. Peace be with you, wisdom. Let us be attentive. Alleluia. Take 
pity on Zion. The Lord has looked down on earth from heaven. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. stand aright. Let us listen to the Holy Gospel. Peace be with all. And with your spirit. A uh, reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory be to you. Let us listen. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through Him, and without Him was made nothing that has been made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men, and the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness grasped it not. There was a man, one sent from God, whose name was John. This man came as a witness to bear witness concerning the light that all might believe through who his. He was not himself the light, was to bear witness to the light. It was the true light that enlightens everyone who comes into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made through him, and the world knew him not. He came upon his own, and his own received him not. But to as many as received him, he gave the power of becoming sons and daughters of God to those who believe in his name. Who were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. And the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we saw his glory, glory as the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and of truth. Slavu, slavu, 
Tekin idronoho vidotsia povne laske i pravde. John bore witness concerning him and cried, This was he of whom I said, He is to come after me, has been said above me, because he was before me. Johan svičet pro njoho i kleče kažuče, Toj bu pro jakoho ja hovoril, Toj što po meni maje i te perebnoju bu, Bo perš bu jak i jo. And of his fullness we all have received, Grace for her grace. For the law was given through Moses, grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Christ is risen. Indeed, he is risen. Christos vos kras. Voistum vos kras. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, perhaps some of you saw on the news coverage today of a big procession that occurred in Cairo, Egypt, this Holy Saturday. It was a procession of some 20 mummified bodies of the ancient pharaohs of Egypt. Until now, they had been kept in one particular museum in the city, but they apparently have built a much newer, more modern one, one that is more suited to the preservations of these ancient mummified remains. And so they took these mummified relics from the one museum and took it to the other. But they decided to make quite a spectacular event out of it. And they had special vehicles that were carrying these mummified remains. There were other people that took part. It's seemingly almost as if they were dancers or people walking in procession with them. And it occurred at night. And so the effect of the light also played on it. And as I watched that, it struck to my mind the contrast to the burial shroud and the burial processions that we reenact in our churches on Good Friday and Holy Saturday. The pharaohs wanted to leave something dynamic after them. And so it is that during their lifetime, it seems, they were very much involved in building the pyramids that we all know of. They wanted a monument to be left for their fame after them. And it seems that many of them thought already that even on this earth, they already were divine. They were gods, and when they would die, they would go and join other gods and there continue to live that sort of divine life. What a contrast that is to Jesus, the Son of God. What monument did Jesus try to build when he was here on this earth? Did he undertake the construction of a pyramid or a great tomb of some sort? Obviously not. Not only did he not undertake any such construction, he did not even have his own tomb. And we recall that always on Good Friday when we sing about the venerable Joseph, Blahobrazne Joseph, who took 
the body of Jesus and buried it in his own tomb because Jesus, the Son of God, had no tomb of his own. Jesus was divine. I should say, Jesus is divine. Jesus is the Son of God. The people in Egypt are concerned. There's historical reason to be concerned about preserving the mummified remains of the pharaohs. With Jesus, there are no mummified remains. There is no dead body to be preserved. We depict it in the burial shroud, in the Plaschenitsa. But it is our faith that tells us that Jesus rose from the dead with his body. And this is the glorious event that we celebrate today and every day of our lives as we celebrate the resurrection of Jesus and the fact that the resurrected Jesus lives on with us as well today. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, perhaps Jesus didn't leave any type of a monument like a pyramid, but what he did leave was you and I, his followers. We are the ones who are called upon to be the testimonies of Jesus, to be the witness of Jesus Christ in this world that we live in. People do not have to travel only to Jerusalem. It's wonderful if you have an opportunity to go to the Holy Land and see all the places where Jesus walked. But for others in this world today, by looking at the followers of Jesus, they should be able to see and find the witnesses, the testimony of who Jesus is. I'm happy to join you here today in St. Joseph's Parish. You who are gathered in the church and those who are joining us by live streaming. To come to this church, we're especially with that wonderful mosaic behind the altar of the risen Lord. Every time you come to this church, you have a reminder of the fact that Jesus is risen from the dead. It is the risen Jesus who lives and works with us and reaches out to us and he calls upon us to be his witnesses, his testimony in the world we live in. How sad it is that once again this year we meet for the Easter celebrations under these conditions of COVID. If you recall last year, we couldn't even have anyone in the churches. And who knows how long this is going to occur. This is part of our worldly life. And the scientists and those who can are taking the steps that they can to try to overcome this virus, this event called COVID. For us, it is another challenge in our day-to-day -day lives. But we know that no matter what the challenges that we have and we encounter in today's world, the Lord Jesus is there with us because he too walked this earth. He too felt the challenges of the weakness of human nature, of those who jeered at him, who spit at him, who said bad things about him, who tortured him, who crucified him, and who left him for dead. Let us give thanks on this day of resurrection that we have such a wonderful Lord who has not left us monuments such as pyramids, but rather has left us this wonderful witness of his life, his divine life. And let us continue to celebrate this Easter liturgy and then in our homes to continue the celebration of the fact that Jesus, the risen Lord, 
is part of our day-to-day day -day lives. I greet you all here today, the fathers who serve you, the parish council, the parish organizations, and you, the parishioners, for your strength and faithfulness in keeping alive your faith, especially during these times of COVID. Let us find the opportunity to rejoice in the risen Lord, even during these difficult times, so that indeed we can exclaim with the whole world, Christ is risen, Christos Voskras. Let us say with our whole soul and our whole mind, let us say, Lord, have mercy. Almighty Lord, God of our fathers, we pray to you, hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy on us, O God, in the greatness of your compassion. We pray you, hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. We also pray for our most holy universal pontiff, Francis Pope of Rome, for our most blessed patriarch, Sipposlav, our most reverend metropolitan, Lawrence, for those who served and have served in his holy church, for our spiritual fathers and all of our brothers and sisters in Christ. Lord, have mercy. also pray for our nation under God, our government, and all the military. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. We also pray for the people here present who await your great and bountiful mercies, for those who have been kind to us, and for all Orthodox Christians. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy. For you are a merciful and a loving God, and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Again and again in peace, let the faithful pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. So that always protected by your might, we may give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Represent the cherubim, sing the thrice holy hymn to the life giving Trinity, and now lay aside all cares of life. Let us, who mystic represent the cherubim, sing the thrice holy hymn to the life giving Trinity, now lay aside all cares of life. Let us, who mystically represent the cherubim, sing the thrice holy hymn to the life giving Trinity, now lay aside all cares of life. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. 
Bože milosrdný, buď milý hříšnému, pěkně si ruku vaše do osvětlení, je blahoslovit hospoda. May our Lord God remember in this kingdom our most forever metropolitan Lawrence and all your flocks Christians now and forever and ever. May the Lord God remember in his kingdom our most holy universal Pontiff Francis, Pope of Rome, his beatus patriarchs, Fratislao, all the priestly, the act and religious orders, our nation under God, our government and all the military, the noble and ever remembered founders and benefactors of this holy church and all you Orthodox Christians always now forever and ever. Amen. That we may receive the King of all, escorted invisibly by ranks of angels. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Let us complete our prayer to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the precious gifts that have been presented, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy church and prolonged with faith, reverence, and fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the tumult, tribulation, wrath, and misfortune, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Through the mercies of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your most holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Peace be with all. And with your spirit. Let us love one another so that we may be of one mind in confessing. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the Trinity, one in being and undivided. The doors to doors in wisdom, let us be attentive. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, one in being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he was born of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered, died, and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in fulfillment of the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father. With the Father and the Son, he is worshiped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us stand well, let us stand with fear, let us be attentive to offer in peace the holy oblation. The mercy of peace, the sacrifice of praise. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with your spirit. Let us lift up our hearts. We have lifted them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord. It is right and just to worship the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, the Trinity, one in being. And stand before you thousands of archangels and tens of thousands of angels, the cherubim and seraphim, six-winged and many-eyed, 
hovering aloft on their wings, singing, crying, exclaiming, and sang the triumphal hymn. Holy, holy, With these blessed powers, so masterful of mankind, we too cry out and say, Holy, holy are you truly, O Holy, holy God and Son, and your Holy Spirit. Holy are you truly, O Holy, and the sufficient glory. We still have to your only begotten Son, that whoever believes in you and not perish is not eternal life. After you have come to the divine plan for our sake, gave himself for the life of the world. He took bread and his holy, most dirty, macro hands, gave thanks to us, sanctified and broken. He gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Take heed, this is my body, which is broken for you, for the forgiveness of sin. Supper saying, Drink of it, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Remembering, therefore, the solitary commandment and all that was done for us the cross, the tomb, the resurrection on the third day, the ascension into heaven, the sitting at the right hand, and the second and glorious coming. We offer to you, yours of your own, in behalf of all and for all. We sing of you. Further, we offer you this rational and unbloody worship as we ask, we pray, and we entreat you. Send down your Holy Spirit upon us and upon these gifts here present. And we pray to you, our God. And make this bread the precious body of your Christ, and that which is in this chalice, the precious blood of your Christ, changing them by your Holy Spirit. Amen, amen, amen. amen. So that they may be for the communicant sobriety of soul, forgiveness of sins, fellowship of your Holy Spirit, fulfillment of the kingdom of heaven, confidence before you, not for judgment or condemnation. Further, we offer you this rational worship for those who've gone to their rest in faith, forefathers, fathers, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, ascetics, and for every righteous soul that finished this life in faith. Especially for our most holy and immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Mother of God, and ever Virgin Mary. The angel cried out. Among the first, remember, O Lord, our most holy universal pontiff, Francis, Pope of Rome, is beatitude of Patriarch Sviatoslav, for the sake of your holy churches, grant that they may live in peace, safety, honor, and health for many years, and rightly impart the word of your truth. And remember all men and all women. And grant that with one voice and one heart, we may glorify and sing the praises of your most honored and magnificent name, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. And may the mercies of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, 
be with all of you. And with your spirit. Having remembered all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the precious gifts which have been presented and consecrated, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Let our loving God, who has received him as spiritual fragrance upon his holy, heavenly, and mystical altar, may send down upon us and return his divine grace and the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy. That we may be delivered from all tribulation, wrath, and misfortune. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help and save, have mercy, protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. This whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless. Let us ask the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. For an angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies. Let us ask the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. For the forgiveness and remission of our sins and offenses. Let us ask the Lord Grant this, o Lord. for all that is good and beneficial for our souls and for peace for the world. Let us ask the Lord Grant this, o Lord. that we may spend the rest of our lives in peace and repentance. Let us ask the Lord Grant this, o Lord. for admission into our lives, one that is painless, unashamed, and peaceful. And for a good defense at the awesome tribunal of Christ, let us ask the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. Having asked you into the faith fellowship of the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves, one another, and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. Make us worthy, O Master, with confidence and without condemnation, to dare call you the heavenly God, Father, and say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our day. As we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Peace be with all. And with your spirit. Bow your heads to the Lord. To the Lord. Through the grace, mercies, and loving kindness of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed to give your most holy, good, and life giving spirit, now and forever and ever. God be merciful to me, a sinner. God be merciful to me, a sinner. God be merciful to me, a sinner. Let us be attentive, the holy things for the holy. One is holy, one is Lord, Jesus Christ, to the glory Take of the source of immortality. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. I believe, O Lord, and confess that you are truly Christ, 
the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am first. Accept me this day, O Son of God, as a partaker of your mystical supper. I will not tell the mystery to your enemies, nor will I give you a kiss as to Judas, but like the thief I confess to you. Remember me, O Lord, when you come into your kingdom. Remember me, O Master, when you come into your kingdom. Remember me, O Holy One, when you come into your kingdom. May the partaking of your holy mysteries, O Lord, be unto me not for judgment nor condemnation, but for the healing of soul and body. God be merciful to me, a sinner. God cleanse me of my sins and have mercy on me. I have sinned without number. Forgive me, O Lord. Approach with the fear of God and with faith, Christos was crest. Christos was crest. He's Christovic 
for spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you have already come, I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Save your people, O God, and bless your inheritance. Christos vos Christos vos Our God at all times, now and forever and ever. Amen. Christos was Christos was Having to the divine, holy, immaculate, immortal, heavenly, life-giving, awesome mysteries of Christ, let us rightfully give thanks to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help and save, have mercy. Protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Having asked that this whole day be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us commend ourselves, one another, and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. For you are our sanctification, and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Let us go forth in peace. In the name of the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. You bless those who bless you, O Lord, and sanctify those who trust in you. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Protect the fullness of your church. Sanctify those who love the beauty of your house and glorify them by your divine power. Do not forsake us who hope in you. Grant peace to your world, to your churches, to the priests, to our nation under God to our government and to all your people for all good giving and every perfect gift is from above coming down from you the father of lights and we give glory thanks and worship to you father son and holy spirit now and forever and ever Amen. Christ is risen from the The 
The blessing of the Lord be upon you with his grace and love for mankind, always, now, forever, and ever. Glory. Glory be to you, O Christ, our God, our hope. Glory be to you. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling death by death, and to those in the tombs giving life. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Master, give the blessing. Christ, our true God, risen from the dead, trampling death by death unto those in the tombs giving life. Through the prayers of his Immaculate Mother, of the Holy Glorious and all praise for the apostles, of our fathers among the saints, John Chrysostom, Archbishop of Constantinople, a blessed Nikita Budka, Bishop and Martyr, and blessed Vasil Belichkowski, and of all the saints, will have mercy and save us, for he is good and loves mankind. Christ is risen. Indeed, he is risen. Christos was Christ. Christ is risen. Christ is risen. Indeed, he is risen. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling death by death, and to those in the tombs giving life. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling death by death, and to those in the tomb, hearing And he granted us eternal life. Let us bow to his third day resurrection. Just before we have the blessing of our Easter food, I want to thank our Metropolitan for being with us uh, this evening on this greatest of feast days, the resurrection of our Lord, leading us in prayer and sharing the word of God with all of us. And thank you, all of you for coming out this evening to celebrate the resurrection of our Lord and those of you who have joined us online. At this time, uh, I would ask the Metropolitan to uh, pray the blessing prayers of our Easter food. Uh, they are prayed in person for those in church and prayed virtually for those who are at home. And we also have to bless the artos, a special Easter bread representing the risen Lord, uh, which we bless today and then share on Thomas Sunday. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. O Lord God Almighty, who through your servant Moses at the exodus of Israel from Egypt and the liberation of your people from the bitter bondage of Pharaoh, commanded that a lamb be slain, foreshadowing the lamb, your beloved son, our Lord Jesus Christ, who because of our deeds of his own goodwill was slain on the cross and took away the sins of the whole world. We humbly entreat you, look upon this bread and bless and sanctify it. For we, your servants in honor and glory and commemoration, of the glorious resurrection of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom also we have received freedom and release from the eternal snares of the enemy and the unbreakable bonds of hell. Now before your majesty on this exceeding bright and all glorious saving day of Easter, offer this bread. Grant that we who offer it and those who shall kiss it and shall taste of it may be partakers of your heavenly blessing and by your might root out from us all sickness and infirmity granting health to all, 
for you are the source of all blessings and the giver of health, and we, we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. This Artos is blessed by the sprinkling of this holy water in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And now the blessing of the Paschal food. Glory to the holy consubstantial life giving an undivided trinity now and forever and ever. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling death by death, and to those in the tombs giving life. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling death by death, and to those in the Christ is risen from the dead, trampling death by death. And to those in the tomb, hearing Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Prayer for the blessing of the Pascha. O Holy Lord, Father Almighty, eternal God, Bless and sanctify this bread with your heavenly blessing so that it may be for the health of body and salvation of soul to all who partake of it, and that it may be a safeguard against all illness and enemy assaults to our Lord Jesus Christ, your only begotten Son, the living bread, which came down from heaven, giving life and salvation to the world, who lives and reigns with you in union with the Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Prayer for the blessing of the Paschal lamb and other meats. O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, look upon this lamb and all these other flesh meats. Bless and sanctify them as you bless and sanctify the ram which Abraham offered to you and the lamb which Abel offered to you in sacrifice. Bless and sanctify these meats as you bless and sanctify the fattened calf which you ordered to be slain for your prodigal son when he returned again to you, so that just as he was considered worthy to enjoy your goodness, so also may we who eat of these meats, blessed and sanctified by you, enjoy your goodness and obtain your holy cross and resurrection from the dead on the third day. For you are our true food and the giver of all good things, which you yourself bless and sanctify. And we give glory to you together with your eternal Father, your all holy, gracious and life-giving spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. The prayer for the blessing of dairy products. O God, our Lord and Master, creator of all things, bless this cheese and butter, these eggs and all other foods here present, and preserve us in your goodness, so that as we eat of your gifts, which you so readily bestow upon us, we may be filled with your indescribable goodness, for the sake of the glorious resurrection on the third day from the dead of our Lord Jesus Christ. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. May the blessing of Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit and the power of the holy, precious, and life-giving cross and the death of our Lord Jesus Christ protect these foods from all the assaults of the visible and invisible enemy in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit now and forever and ever. Amen. These paschal foods are blessed and sanctified by the sprinkling of this holy water in the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. 
Amen. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling death by death, and to those in the tomb giving life. Christos was Christos was Christ. Christ is risen. Indeed, he is risen. Christos was Christ. Christos was Christ, Christos was Christ. Heaven's joy comes forth to meet us as the radiant Pascha greets us. Sing with fragrantness every nation, every home and all creation. For God's word has come to pass. Christos was Christ, Christos was Christ, Christos was Christ, Christos was Christ. All from slumber now are risen, on this day new life is given, earth and heaven hear the story of the triumph and the glory that God's word 